Stefan Bajcetic broke into Liverpool's main squad at the age of 18 and now is a serious long-term contender to be the defining footballer for the Reds. He's not widely talked about, but you should remember this guy's name. Who is this Spanish midfielder and what is his uniqueness? We'll tell you in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, we're getting started. Do not be surprised, Stefan Bajcetic is really Spanish, although he has a Balkan last name. The fact is that his father Serdan is a Serb, who is also a football player, spent part of his career in Spain. He not only played for Celta there, but also met his Galician wife. Thus, in 2004, Stefan was born. The boy could choose which national team he would play for, and he chose Spain, as he was born in Vigo and grew up as a footballer there. Quite a logical choice, although people are sometimes surprised that a player with such a last name is Spanish. Stefan began his football career in the Val Minor child team. There he was noticed by Celta scouts and was invited to join the club in 2013. In total, Banchetic spent seven years in the academy of the club from Vigo, and at the end of 2020 he moved to Liverpool. The Reds paid only around 225k pounds for the then 16-year-old player. Man United wanted to compete for the Spaniards' signature, but Stefan only wanted to go to Anfield. Well, dreams do come true. For the first time, Bajetic was spotted in the first team before the start of the current season. Few people paid attention to him back then. People thought that Stefan was yet another young talent who was given a chance in the preseason. He was expected to be forgotten after the start of the season. Many fans believed so and they had reasons for this. This is what happens with most young players. But Stefan's brilliant progress, along with Liverpool's problems with results, injuries and poor physical condition of key midfield players, pushed Jurgen Klopp to look for a solution, and the Spaniard became such a solution. At first, he featured as a substitute, but not long ago he has turned into a regular starter. At least, he started the last four Premier League games. The 18-year-old managed to impress coaches and teammates with his game, and is now turning into a full-fledged player in Jurgen Klopp's first team. Since Stefan started playing with us, he's been our best player. Hopefully, he stays with that confidence and just keeps going. Mo Salah himself said after the victory over Everton in Derby, Such words from the current Liverpool legend are worth a lot and should definitely push players' morale. Stefan's level is emphasized not only by Salah's words. By Cetic, in addition, was chosen as the best Liverpool player in January. I'm very happy, very pleased and thankful to the fans, to the players and to the staff as well. And obviously to my family and my friends, my girlfriend, they all help a lot. Stefan commented on this occasion. The young talent is a good fit with the team is largely due to his teammate Thiago Alcantara. These two are connected not only by the fact that they are Spanish. The fact is that the players' fathers, Massimo and Serdan Bajetic, were teammates at Celta, and now one son has taken the other under his wing in Liverpool. Interestingly, this is not the only connection between them. Both Thiago and Stefan played for the aforementioned Val Minor child team. Of course, they didn't cross paths, they were because they are 13 years apart, but the fact is interesting in itself. This story made a full circle when Bajetic replaced Thiago to make his Champions League debut earlier this season. It happened in a home fixture against Ajax, which the Reds won 2-1. The Champions League Anfield, you're 18, you go out and win, can you imagine a better night? Hopefully, Stefan stays on this path and follows in Thiago's footsteps. And also, Thiago helps him a little bit because they have beginnings in common. Proudly said Javier Lago, one of the founders of Val Minor. Now let's analyze Stefan's performances on the pitch. The first thing you should know is that Bajetic came to Liverpool as a center back. In Celta's academy, he was used precisely in defense. But in England, they saw in him the potential of a midfield player. Therefore, in Iran's academy, Stefan spent half of the matches in a defensive midfield position. For those who saw the Spaniard play for the main Liverpool team, this may come as a surprise because he looks so natural in midfield. In fact, the situation when a player is moved from defense to a position higher up the pitch over time is quite rare. Usually things happen the other way around. 
These day examples include Alfonso Davies, who converted from a left winger to left back, or David Alaba, who also started on the left in attack and now usually plays in the center of defense. We can also mention Sevilla captain Jesus Navas, who was transformed into a defender in Manchester City. The citizens did the same trick to Zinchenko. There are much fewer examples of the reverse. Only Gareth Bale's pass from a left back to a striker comes to mind. So, what does it say about Stefan being promoted from a center back to a central midfielder? Let's assume that these are the technical and physical qualities of the player. His level of work with the ball is very solid. To waste such potential in defense is a crime, and his stamina allows him to cover long distances and be successful in pressing. The speed with which Stefan learns new positions is impressive. He perfectly mastered the new position of defensive midfielder, but he did not stop there. In the game against Everton, he started at the number 8 position for the first time ever and became the player of the match. And this happened in a derby, in a match where the players are under intense pressure, in a match where you must win to have a chance to save a failed season. We put him in a new position. I don't think he's ever played it before. He came here as a kid as a center back. Now he played the 6 for us in a few games. And tonight as an 8, and in a lot of moments a double 6. He did extremely well. Jurgen Klopp was happy after the match. In the match against the Toffees, Stefan faced a powerful Onana guy Dukude opposition triangle and did his job very solid. The 18-year-old Spaniard has 5 duels won, 2 tackles and 2 moments created in that game. We can say that Bajcetic is a wonderful combination of Thiago's technique and Wijnaldum's hard work. Stefan is really much more focused on moving the ball forward than the ex Reds player. In addition, he loves and never avoids tackles. I love to tackle, I love tackles, he said after the victory over Everton. Bajcetic breathed new life into Liverpool's midfield. The midfield that was destroyed by literally every opponent throughout the season. Stefan's energy brought balance to this link, and now the Reds have a chance to save the season. Of course, Jurgen Klopp has to carefully manage the player's game time, bearing in mind that he is only 18 years old. However, this guy should be taken seriously. Neither Pedri, nor Bellingham, nor Musiala, nor Gavi's young age prevented them from becoming top players right away. So why should that stop Stefan? Now the £225,000 paid for him look like a steal in a broad daylight. Stefan Bajcetic is only 18 years old but has a lot of quality. He is one for the future, for sure. I really hope that he can continue his performances and development because Liverpool needs that. He really knows how to break things up and protect the defense. He understands his role and that is very important. Liverpool legend John Barnes praised Stefan. Bajcetic is a real treasure, not only for the Reds, he can become an ideal element complementing the trio of Pedri and Gavi in the Spanish national team. 18-year-old Bajetic and Gavi and 20-year-old Pedri. This midfield is capable of dominating on the international level for 15 years. Friends, write in the comments what you think about Stefan's prospects and what he can achieve with Liverpool. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and watch the others you see on your screens right now.